fish balls, and beautiful noodles, and a fishy broth. This should be a fish broth. Oh, that's so good. Depth, baby. Depth. Oh. Let's try a meaty ball. <coughs> oh, good one. No. These are fish balls, too. They're not beef balls. Two kinds of fish balls. They're really good. Man, a lit pipe. Early in an eating day. It's not good. Amateur, this guy. Let's go for a long time. Mm, wow. Mm, oh, it's really good. There's shrimp and pork in that, I think. Noodles are perfect. They got a nice bite to them. Oh, I haven't tried a whitefish ball yet. That's really good as well. Yeah, this broth is really just, uh, it gets a nice murky, flavorful. I love soup like this. It's a great little stand. It caught me with its smell because I, I was kind of on my way to a place to get something specific. And I saw this, I smelled it. And that's Guangzhou. I just try to go for a walk without stopping to get food. If you're hungry and you're trying to get to a place to eat, it's so hard just to not to resist going into these places. Okay, I'll finish these, then we'll move on. Need to get some roast meat. Can't leave Guangzhou without some roast meat. Okay, I'm cutting down another alley. These alleys are so great. There's food hidden in them. Um, you know, I do a lot of research and I look for places that are popular, but every once in a while you come down an alley and you find a spot like this, which has, oh my god, look at that pork, looks so drippingly amazing. Okay, uh, char, 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 I love it. These little places don't see tourists. They're not even on the map. I walked by here and uh, I went, okay, should I go in here? And I decided, no, maybe I'll go to the place I was planning on going to. And then I got to that place, which is not far from here, and I thought, no, the other place just has a better vibe. Look at the, the meat looks better. And, and there's one I found myself, so I tried to look it up on the map and it's not even listed. It's just because they haven't, they have no online presence, but that doesn't mean the food isn't good. In fact, if they're able to stay open without an online presence, chances are the food is really good. Wow, oh, that's a lot of meat. Okay, so this is char siu, char siu, and um, in Cantonese, I believe. Char siu literally means pork roasted. You can really see the quality of the meat if you look at that. Just beautiful. So lean, but so tender still. Houcher. Mm. And houcher. Mm. It's so deadly good. Mm. Just like the perfect tenderness. The sauce is amazing. Definitely has honey in it. Not really sure what else you got in there, but 
honey, five spice, red fermented bean curd, dark soy sauce, hoisin sauce, and some sometimes some food coloring to give it that color. Yeah, that's good. Honey and five spice. Yeah, this might be the best car stew I've ever had. I've been to a lot of places to serve this stuff. All right, am I done? Oh no, yeah. here comes the rain. Um, is this rolling? Yeah, this is rolling. Okay. Um, so, just wanted to give you an update because there's going to be some continuity errors. I am escaping the rain. It started raining pretty hard, so I escaped the rain by going to this little barber shop. Oh, it's, I guess it's more like a hair dresser, hair stylist place. It's in the market. It's a really cool spot. Um, it actually smells really good in here, and the building from the outside is really cool. There's a lady getting her hair washed. I guess that's the smell. Um, and she's gonna, this hairdresser lady's gonna remove this scruffy looking scruff scruff from my face. So I'm gonna look different in the next scene. I don't want you guys to get confused. I don't want you to think that some other guy, a stunt double, or my twin brother came in because he's not in this video at all. So just be aware of that and, um... <laughs> Okay, well, I'm once again in tiny little alleys. This might be my tiniest yet. We got all kinds of ways to go here, and all of them are tiny. I'm looking for a specific restaurant that does some wontons up, deep fried wontons. It's supposed to be the best in the city. I'm a little lost though, so I think I'm gonna go this way. This is really cool though. Some, some working men carrying heavy things. Every little turn, it's just like a little tiny alley that cars can't get down. It's a bicycle area, I guess. Uh, I see the main road ahead. Oh, that might be the restaurant right there. Ooh, Thai G noodle restaurant. This has got to be it. Oh, it's hot in here. Look at this kitchen though. Steam coming up. There's my wontons. Man, it's gotta be hot to work in there. Ja uh, Yun Tun? Ja Yun Tun? Oh yeah, now I go, fresh wontons being folded. Got lots of action going on in the kitchen. This guy, this lady is doing it for wontons. Alright, let's find a seat. It's way too hot in there. Apparently this is a tourist attraction, as you can see by the two people behind me also doing what I'm doing. So we all look like idiots. Oh shit, there's no goddamn chopsticks here. I gotta find some chopsticks. Okay guys. So, I was outside, I had a nice spot right in the alley with the, the kitchen in the background. It was beautiful. It started raining again. So I had to come in here. This is like the... They've expanded, obviously. This is the modern section. It's fancy, there's an upstairs, there's two sides. It's huge. So I'm sure they do a lot of business at lunch and dinner. It's about four o'clock now. Well, actually, it's probably about five o'clock now. So it's getting close to dinner. I'm sure business will be picking up. These are deep fried wontons. 
Obviously they use a different wrapper, like a wheat wrapper, and it crisps it up nicely. Comes with some sweet chili sauce to dip it in. Let's try it out. Mm. That is so good. Mm. The wonton wrapper is amazing. It's kind of like a cracker. I don't know how to even describe it. Just like a beautiful combo. The texture and the taste goes really well with the pork. Fresh out the fryer. Nice and crispy. It's really, really good. The one wonton is really good and the sauce is phenomenal too. Yeah, this place is pretty famous. Opened in 1984. Uh, they have lots of decorations in these two sections showing how noodles were made back when they opened up. They, I think they have their first automatic noodle machine as like an antique decor. I believe this place is a Bib Gourmand Michelin recommendation. Basically Bib Gourmand is like the, the cheaper options for Michelin, not the super fancy, just like street food, little stalls, uh, little places like this. It's a little bit bigger now, but it's dirt cheap. I mean, 13 kwai for these wontons. Really good deal for a meal that I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. So the plan, finish off here. Head back to the hotel, rest up, and then go up for dinner in a couple hours. Even though it's 5 o'clock now. I don't know. But we'll see how we feel this evening and see if it's still raining. And uh, maybe even do a little shooting tomorrow morning before I jump on the high speed train to Nanning. Nanning is going to be good too. So if I don't come back, stay tuned for Nanning. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't want to hang around y'all. For good health, one day I'm gonna come ball. Fuck around and buy the home mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Look at me, I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, life stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, the key. That was bad.